Closed captioning is being brought to you by Carlson Print Group. Evans, and this is Yeti's Ultimate Hunt. I'm at the Archery Trade Association show, the ATA, in Columbus, Ohio. This is a show where icons get together, hunting icons, manufacturers, dealers. They talk about old times and they're hunting this year, that year, and whatever. And you get to see all the brand new cool stuff. And behind me is the Sportsman Channel booth. Without the Sportsman Channel, we wouldn't be able to bring our story to you. Trust me, the Sportsman Channel is no stranger to cancer. The only television network structured to provide 100% hunting, shooting, and fishing programming 24 hours a day, seven days a week, is the Sportsman Channel. Launched in 2003, Sportsman Channel is the only television and digital media company fully devoted to the more than 82 million sportsmen in the United States delivering entertaining and educational programming focused exclusively on hunting, shooting, and fishing activities. 2010 marked yet another milestone for Sportsman Channel, partnering with Yeti's Ultimate Hunt, and it has helped push the fight to cure cancer and raise monies for cancer research into the living rooms of outdoorsmen across America. Today, like many people, the Sportsman Channel and its many dedicated employees are not strangers to the devastating effects and the impact of cancer. So I met Rob Evans a couple of years ago and he came to us with this idea to, to put on this ultimate hunt show. And you know, in the end, it's gonna be a perfect uh, partnership between Sportsman Channel and Ultimate Hunt to, to raise money for cancer. I lost my father 10 years ago uh, to cancer and uh, when I got the chance to kind of tell not only my story but his story and just kind of the the fight he put up um, it's just it's just amazing for not only to be able to share that with with anybody else but then you get to hear other people's stories too you get to hear other people at this channel who have been affected and it just really is it's it's an unfortunate fraternity to belong to but it's it's nice to know that other people have been through it and uh, we're where you were also one day. You know, cancer has affected all of us, uh, whether us individually or our families at some point in their lives. So uh, it just made great sense with, with them connecting hunters uh, and, and trying to get them behind this cause and, and recognize and, and bring awareness to it. it it's just for me, it, it made perfect sense and something we're very proud to be a part of. It's not a matter of if, it's when. It's going to affect everyone in their lives, whether it's individually or a family member or a friend. Um, uh, probably prior to the summer of 1995, I had no idea what renal cell carcinoma was, but uh, my, uh, my father-in-law, Lee Marlette, um, nickname Skipper, <laughs> he, um, uh, you know, we noticed that he had been losing some weight. He was feeling good, but uh, he was losing weight and uh, it was, I believe, summer, July of, of, of that year that uh, he went into the doctor and he was diagnosed with kidney cancer, renal cell carcinoma. And um, the first, the first, uh, phase of treatment was to remove his kidney and um, you know, everything was good uh, for for about another year and then the cancer appeared elsewhere uh, and uh, you know in two and a half years he was gone. Now Lee was uh, a friend he was my father-in-law but he he was a friend and a mentor um, a business partner uh, in, 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 in things uh, but, uh, you know, he was a sportsman, too. Um, and unfortunately, he, he didn't get to see 
he didn't get to see his his granddaughters, which he loved very much. Um, didn't, didn't get to see them grow up. Didn't get to see them get married now. So, yeah, it's tough. You know, he didn't he didn't get to see what this. He never knew about Sportsman Channel. He was gone well before we 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 started this project and this business. And um, you know, it's uncanny because he his love was boating. His nickname, Skipper. He loved to fish. Uh, every if he, he if he didn't fish three times a week, regardless of uh, whether he was working a 12-hour day or not, he found time to get outdoors and fish. And, and um, boy, he, we we uh, I'm not an avid fisherman. I'm I'm a little more of a hunter and shooter <laughs> than I am a, uh, a fisherman. But uh, he he definitely. We, we had a bond there. We went out and spent a lot of time on the boat. He sure did love to fish, and I, I you know, think and his love of Florida and, and our involvement with Florida Sportsman, for instance, which is one of our intermediate publications. You know, Skipper was the Florida Sportsman. I mean, that that's where his heart was, and and uh, whether it was off of a dock or on a pier, uh, on a family vacation, or taking my daughters on their first fishing trip, trout fishing while we were on vacation in Colorado or, or uh, out doing some fishing on Lake Michigan or uh, deep sea fishing, you know, that, that, was, that was his real, real passion. So it's, it's, it's a tragedy really for, for someone um, you know, not even 60 years of age to be, to be taken from us. Together as outdoorsmen, we will kill cancer. Text 4CURE to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL Cancer Research Fund. We're done with disposable ice chests because we found Yeti. No more broken handles or busted hinges. No more crushed corners or caved in covers. Yeti coolers are tough. They're roto molded like kayaks and they are certified grizzly bear proof. With thicker walls and a full frame gasket, Yeti coolers keep ice longer, a lot longer. Yeti coolers. Wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. Duluth Pack gun cases and accessories are handmade and offer a lifetime guarantee. Shop DuluthPack.com for the highest caliber. Made in America. Guaranteed for life. Wild Ears are hearing protection and hearing boosters, all in one custom fit digital state of the art device. But don't just take it from me, listen to what these guys have to say. This is the hunting edge I've been looking for. Wild Ears are custom fit for all day comfort. State of the art technology that you won't, that you won't believe. You won't believe. Experience the edge the pros use. Hear like the deer here with Wild Ear. For more information, go to wildear.com. From the makers of Luminoc comes the incredible Luminero. When you get that shot of a lifetime, you better be shooting the best that money can buy. Shoot the best and light it up. The incredible Luminero, powered by Burt Coyote Luminoc. Independent tests confirm that the pins on a black gold are 20% brighter than the next brightest bosite. So bright that we had to use photochromatic technology to dim the pins in bright light. In low light, while the pins on other bow sights are growing dim, the pins on a black gold sight are still perfectly bright. Be the last one out of the woods at night. Get a black gold sight. There was a time in America when you needed something that was built right here. It lasted for years and you could be proud of it. For five generations, our family business has built thousands of high-quality boats right here in America. The American Classic 21 is built using modern composite technology with the heritage of old world craftsmanship. The ACM 21, classic style, exceptional quality. See us at AmericanClassicMarine.com. You can support the fight to cure cancer along with these supporting companies. Muzzy, Black Gold, Scentlock, Luminoc, Wild Ear, Game Hide, Nikon, National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, 
Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. You're watching Yeti's Ultimate Hunt, exclusively on Sportsman Channel. I got to go on a pheasant hunt with Todd Hansen, Greg Hale, and uh, Monty Daniels, the, uh, the three musketeers of the Sportsman Channel. There was little Robbie out there hunting pheasants with these guys, and it was like the American sportsman to me. Nicely done. It was a terrific time actually to get out of the office with a couple of our staff and get together with Rob because I hadn't seen him uh, too much over the last few years since he had started the show, uh, Ultimate Hunt. Um, had met Rob a few years back actually at one of our Hunt Fish Feed events. He had volunteered uh, to work in the kitchen and, and help prepare uh, meals for, for those in need. It's one of our initiatives here at Sportsman Channel. So uh, we had a, a great day, beautiful fall morning to get out and go over to Warren Valley and watch some dogs work and uh, we chased up a few roosters and it was a good way to spend the morning. Heads up. It's really nice to be able to take that time away from the office and actually go out on a pheasant hunt together and you know and just spend time out in the field doing what we both love to do. It was, it was a fun experience. We enjoyed it. We got some birds and you know, I look forward to every chance we get to do that in the future. The Arnold S. Leonard Cancer Research Fund is exclusively dedicated to the research performed in the laboratory and to clinical efforts leading to treatment, control, and a cure for cancer. This research is possible through financial support and donations by outdoorsmen and women. I met um, the doctors at an outing that we were doing to support cancer up in Minneapolis. And really in having that conversation with them, you realize how uh, passionate, but how close they are to coming up with a cure for cancer. They've made incredible progress and strides and, and uh, we need to provide them the resources. And if, and if we have the, uh, if we, we as sportsmen and hunters in particular uh, can find the means to, to help them, uh, I think that's uh, something we can take great pride in. Cancer is this big, um, it's kind of this big scary thing to people that nobody wants to get it and, and nobody, um, you know, nobody always knows how to deal with it. But these guys are actually picking it apart and, and doing what they can and, and what technology allows them to do to come up with a cure for cancer. Um, so, you know, they are very confident that this is going to happen in the future. And, and I got to believe by looking in their eyes and talking to them that, that they're telling the truth because they've definitely uh, made progress in the years we've known them. And now another cancer research update from our own Dr. Dan. The following cancer research update is being brought to you by Mossy Oak. It's not a passion, it's an obsession. Hi, I'm Dr. Dan Saltzman, the promoter the cytokine and the tumor's ability to suppress the immune system. We're putting it all together, and here's how. As each aspect of this therapy is optimized, they will be combined in a single strain of salmonella. This salmonella strain will efficiently localize the tumors and secrete an effective combination of immune-activating cytokines and molecules that block the immune-suppressive cytokine signaling that we see in cancers. This approach is expected to result and an anti-cancer therapy that eliminates primary tumors and establishes an immune memory response and prevent cancer from metastasizing. It is possible that the next generation of this anti-cancer salmonella-based immunotherapy will bring us much closer to the long-sought cure for cancer. Our laboratory is one of the few research groups in the country that has been able to get a cancer therapy into clinical trial. I know we can do better, but I need your help. Please donate what you can. I'm Dr. Dan Saltzman. The ASL Cancer Research Fund needs your financial support in the fight to cure cancer. Log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv, locate the donate button, and make your financial pledge today. Your donation will make a difference.
Great achievements have a way of creating even greater expectation, like an uncompromisingly rugged hunting binocular built to defy the element. The all-new Pro Staff 7. It's what you'd expect from Nikon at a value that is unexpected. We're done with disposable ice chests because we found Yeti. No more broken handles or busted hinges. No more crushed corners or caved-in covers. Yeti coolers are tough. They're roto-molded like kayaks and they are certified grizzly bear proof. With thicker walls and a full frame gasket, Yeti coolers keep ice longer, a lot longer. Yeti coolers. Wildly stronger, keeps ice longer. We place this tick on a pair of Elimitic pants. As you can see, he wants off. Elimitic is tick repelling camo clothing with insect shield technology a revolutionary process that fuses repellent to the fabric. It's odorless, EPA registered, and will last through 70 washings, the expected life of a garment. Elimitic flat out repels ticks. Help protect yourself from ticks that can cause debilitating Lyme disease. Wear Elimitic. Donations to the ASL Cancer Fund have been contributed by Outdoor Edge, the finest quality knives and tools for the big game hunter. This portion of the ultimate hunt is brought to you by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. You know, it was two years ago when I first was introduced to the Sportsman Channel. That is to say Michelle Sherman, who came to the lab and saw our research and brought the information back to the Sportsman Channel and they decided to get involved with the ASL Cancer Fund. And then I was invited to a hunt, fish and feed program that the Sportsman Channel does all over the country. Uh, feeding the hungry and the homeless and it's, it's a good thing. Giving back and helping those in need is a top priority for the Sportsman Channel. And one way that value is lived out is through the Hunt Fish Feed program. Hunt Fish Feed is a unique outreach program that taps an underutilized food source, game meat and fish donated by sportsmen, to feed those who are struggling with hunger in America. Sportsman Channel and its partners have a mission to help end hunger. And since the launch of Hunt Fish Feed in 2007, the program has served thousands of meals in communities all across America. We have about 15 volunteers here today and we're serving venison tacos which put with uh, poached salmon and the salmon was actually caught this weekend at the Brew City Tournament off of shore of, of Lake Michigan and they gave us about 1,000 pounds of salmon that the anglers donated. Uh, so we will be using it here today in Milwaukee and then two days from now we're going up to Green Bay and also doing another hunt fish feed up in Green Bay where we're doing about the same thing, uh, venison tacos with the salmon, except that they're feeding about 250 people. Today, right now, we're feeding 450 people, so it's quite an event. It's really especially important. Um, um, one of the things we're seeing more and more of these days is uh, much, much younger people that uh, uh, are in need of nutrition. and. Um, um, we didn't see this 21 years ago, but now we're starting to see it more. We're starting to see a lot more young people uh, come to the meal, um, families, um, and uh, it's, it's crucial. I mean, nutrition is crucial, and it's, um, it's really, uh, really nice to see that these people are getting these services. Sportsman Channel's passion for hunting, fishing, and shooting not only provides quality entertainment, but also provides a way for outdoorsmen to give back and help their less fortunate neighbors through great programs like Hunt, Fish, Feed. Sportsman Channel is the only network catering exclusively to the 82 million Americans who make hunting, shooting, and fishing a part of their lifestyle. And since 2010, Sportsman Channel has been a major supporter of the ASL Cancer Research Fund and Yeti's Ultimate Hunt. Because, like many of you, cancer has taken some of the people that they love most. Yeti's Ultimate Hunt is, is unique in that obviously it's, it's doing a great job in, in raising money for, uh, for cancer research, but a lot of people don't realize that 
Cancer is, is an equal opportunity killer. It does not care who it attacks, and it doesn't matter what you are, a professional athlete, a teacher, a lawyer, a doctor even, but also a sportsman. Uh, every sportsman out there knows somebody who is affected directly by cancer or knows somebody who knows somebody who is affected by cancer. My father was, uh, was diagnosed with colon cancer um, in 1998. And I remember hearing, I remember my parents told me, you know, your dad has cancer. And, and obviously, as a, a young man of 17, 18 years old, I, I know that that's not a good thing, but you, you don't understand the, the blow that it, that it puts on you. It just, boom. This is now, an, uh, it's a fight to the death. It really is. We, um, my dad fought colon cancer for a long time. It was actually, I remember when, when he died, it was 90% of the people that get this type of colon cancer do not make it as long as he did. He, he fought it longer than, longer than a lot of people probably did, but obviously he did ultimately lose the battle. But in the beginning, he had his, uh, his chemotherapy and his, his radiation treatments, and he, he, would, he would do fine. He, he didn't lose his hair. He didn't lose his energy. He, he was tired, but he did not lose his energy. He still made it to work every day. He didn't take sick days. He was still able to, to be himself. And he was still able to be dad. And eventually it, it came to be where the cancer had spread. It had uh, eventually got into his liver. And then um, at that point, it's, it's realized that not only is, um, you, you see this treatment that is obviously taking a toll on somebody and it's, it's not doing anything. My dad had a, a birthday on, on July 12th and that was his last real good day, July 12, 2001. His parents had come into town for his birthday, and two days later, he he was not himself. He uh, his parents had actually decided to stay in town because they knew how how bad it was. And that following Monday, I had uh, taken the day off of work. My mom could not be there; uh, she had a, a commitment. And I remember I, I was sitting with him. And I just remembered that it hit me. I said, he's not gonna get better. Not only did I realize that he wasn't going to be better, but at the same time, I also realized that I didn't want him to have to keep fighting it. it I, I saw what it was doing to him, and it, it wasn't fair. And I just, I, I told God, okay, you, you know, wrap this up because I, I don't want him to hurt and suffer any more than he already has. Together as outdoorsmen, we will kill cancer. Text 4CURE to 50555 to make your $5 donation to ASL Cancer Research Fund. History has shown that success breeds success. As the original Scent Control leader, Scentlock helps hunters improve success with products tested in the lab and proven in the field. So if you're a real whitetail freak, trust your skills, trust your instinct, and hunt with Scentlock. More than the Trade Association for the Firearms Industry, the National Shooting Sports Foundation's mission is to promote, protect, and preserve hunting and the shooting sports. We promote participation, helping to bring more new people into the sport. We protect our sports from the field to Capitol Hill. We preserve hunting traditions and firearms freedoms for you and for future generations. Promote, protect, preserve. It's not just our mission, it's our passion. To find out more, visit nssf.org. Sweet. That is sweet. I want one of these. Slay Custom Rifles support the ASL Cancer Research Fund. Order yours today. Supporting the fight to cure cancer and Yeti's ultimate hunt are these fine sponsors. Muzzy. Black Gold. Scentlock. Luminock. Wild Ear. Game Hide. Nikon. National Shooting Sports Foundation, Outdoor Edge, Duluth Pack, American Classic Marine, Phantom Lures, Supercharged Scent Killer by Wildlife Research Center, Beyond 99%, and by Yeti Coolers. Wildly stronger, keep ice longer. Remember, 
cancer is a killer and you're not exempt. You can help us and help yourself by texting 4CURE to 50555 or go to our website at ultimatehunt.tv or see us on Facebook. And now, more from the Sportsman Channel. One of the big things I've noticed about this show is that it brings people together. And it really doesn't matter if you're uh, competitors in the industry, this is still a common cause that people are willing to get behind. Sportsmen are a unique breed, it's a brethren. It's uh, the, the common denominator of uh, love of the outdoors and uh, the, the opportunity to hunt or shoot or fish and, and pursue those pastimes. I mean, definitely that brings uh, like-minded individuals together and uh, it's rare that you come across or meet someone who is a, a true sportsman that uh, you wouldn't like or, or share a story with or uh, you know become friends with so it's uh, it's a unique culture uh, it's it's a lifestyle uh, of enthusiasts that's difficult to compare to in any other uh, it, it's not a hobby it's a passion Yeti's ultimate hunt is is an important part of what we do here because it tells a great story and it really allows people to get into the minds and the hearts of people who have gone through the struggles of cancer and you know it's somebody they can relate to because everybody knows somebody that has cancer um, and if you can relate to somebody through that story uh, maybe it doesn't make you feel as alone you know maybe it makes you feel like um, you can get through this or whatever it's going to be but you know if we can use uh, TV as a way to tell a story to uh, either cure cancer or strengthen somebody that has cancer, then I would say we're doing our job. If you'd like to help support the doctors in their fight to cure cancer, log on to our website at ultimatehunt.tv. There you will find information and updates about the show and ways you can support and donate to the doctors and their research.